All right, guys. So today is March 15th, 2021. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's 5.38, and I'm just now going to be breaking my fast. I've been doing videos all day. Uh, or actually did two videos, but I did some editing. Um, and uh, one of them was a health and weight update video that you guys saw my weigh-in for today. Because it is the 15th, so it is my weigh-in day. And you guys saw that I weighed 185.6, I think it was. Yeah, not bad, huh, guys? Okay, so I just, we're having leftovers today. And let me show you what I did a couple of days ago. I made this pork right here. I actually boiled it in apple cider vinegar, uh, vet chicken broth, ginger, garlic, salt, and pepper. I boiled it, and then the next day, I, oh, and erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol. And then the next day, I just cut it up, and then I put another, a little bit of more of the erythritol, uh, soy sauce, uh, ginger, salt, and pepper. I think that was it. And uh, Oh, and the pepper flakes. Really, really good. It is around eight o'clock. I'm starting a little bit later than what I really wanted to, um, but I was editing for you guys. <laughs> My right foot is still, it's good. I can walk around, I can, you know, come upstairs, go downstairs and, and not like limp, but it feels like there's still a little, a little bit there that is still achy. And so this is my first time working out since injuring my foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to do 30 minutes, which is about, I think it's like a two mile walk. I'm gonna baby it a little bit on this first workout. I actually did not do the 30 minutes. I picked another DVD. Uh, I did uh, 22, 23 minutes. I feel like I could have done another mile, but we'll just, uh, for a first day, I think uh, two or what was it? It was like a, a mile. That's what it came out to be. It is uh, March 16th, 2016. 2016, oh my God, no, 2021. <laughs> oh my God, I need to wake up again. Okay, it is March. 16, 2021. I'm taking my electrolytes right now. What I plan to do this morning uh, is I want to work out. All right, guys, 10, 10, 19, 10, 19. We are ready to work out. I'm going to be doing 42 minutes and actually I forgot to get my bands. This will be arm an arm workout. So I think what it is, it's one mile fast walking and then one mile, the second mile is with the band. Third mile is fast walking. So there's a complete mile with some band work. I wanted to tell you guys that typically in the morning, um, I will have my uh, keto coffee or my cold brew and uh, I'll have that. I'll have that throughout the morning. But today I want to really try to work out uh, in a fasting state. Hopefully the goal, the goal is that, you know, my body's gonna require sugar to keep me going. So hopefully it will convert my stored energy, fat, into sugar. So that is my goal.
So I think I'm at 5,500 steps. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And I got it out of the way and I feel good. I don't feel hungry uh, and I don't feel awake or tired. So pretty good. It is uh, 1245 and I just got finished prepping dinner. So I want to show you what I am going to do and then I'm going to have my coffee. This is the prepping. Um, we're having meatball soup. Um, so these are the meatballs. It is um, 102, 102. And uh, so I'm sitting here at my computer, gonna get ready to balance the checkbook, pay bills, etc. cetera. Uh, but yes, I have my coffee. So I've got the broth going here. And then once it boils, I'll put these in there. I'll put a little bit of chicken broth. Hey guys, um, it's uh, 8.30 and um, I've been crying. Uh, my husband, I was upstairs editing and uh, my husband came in the room about 30 minutes ago and told me that they picked up my mom's car. I didn't even hear it, thank God. Thank God I didn't hear it. It's bittersweet. It really is. Um, it's just a car. I know. I really trust me. I know. It's it's material. It's a possession. But it was her car. It took up space. You know, like her space. I just thank God that I, I didn't hear it, and I didn't really know. And my husband and my oldest were home, and I thank God for that. Yeah because I was able to cry and, you know, they were around me and, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm a mess right now, but I know that it was like that final thing that I had to take care of with my mom, her business, you know what I mean? Um, the other thing real quickly, and I forgot to mention, I had told you guys that I got some blood work done and everything came out wonderful and uh, my A1C was 4.7, I think I said, or 4.9, and that I wasn't sure. Um, I don't know what the heck I read, but my doctor called. I meant to tell you guys this. She called me around 3 o'clock and my blood sugars are elevated slightly and I was fasting when I took my blood sugar, or when I took my blood test that time. But we're gonna do another uh, blood test. Uh, and this time it's going to cover three months worth of my blood sugar with the A1C. I asked her, well, did, wasn't that the A1C that you guys took? And they're like, and she was like, no. What I read, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't have the printout. I saw it on the computer and I, I I thought I could have sworn. I don't know what was 4.7 then, but whatever it was, it was good. I remember looking at the levels. <laughs> I have my mom's diabetic um, checker, you know, the blood sugar, the glucose meter. I don't know. You, I'm sorry. And um, I took my blood sugar and uh, it's 93. And that was after eating. So that's good. It's really, really good. So I'm not really worried about it. I we're just going to be sure, you know? So I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Anyways, bittersweet for sure. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And I'm going to get through this. And this is this will pass. That's what I keep telling myself. It's just, you know, it's that anticipation of waiting on this, you know?
morning, guys. Today is um, Thursday, March 18th, 2021. Um, it is around 11 o'clock. No, it is 11.15 in the morning. I wanted just to really quickly tell you uh, what happened yesterday. Um, you guys really didn't see me at all other than making the snickerdoodles and having breakfast, the burritos. And I don't even think I showed you that I made corned beef for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, I made corned beef, uh, but I didn't get to enjoy it. I'll tell you why. The night that mom's car was taken, I came and I shared with you guys my emotions and feelings. Well, that night I went to go and get my um, sleeping pill, which is prescribed. Uh, I, I knew I had one left, or I thought I had one left. And I went to go take it and uh, my bottle was empty. I thought, oh my gosh. So then my husband says, um, you know, we have, we have, uh, over the counter, you want to try that? And I thought, yeah, because it was, it was a rough night. So I did, I took it and oh my gosh, within 20 minutes, I felt horrible. I felt horrible. So then, but it put me to sleep, but I felt horrible. When I woke up in the morning, I still felt horrible. I mean, I had dry mouth. I felt like I had no energy. I didn't feel lethargic. I just felt like. I was pushing to do everything. So my husband says, do you want some breakfast? You know, cause he stayed home, he hurt his knee. So he stayed home um, and he's gonna get his knee checked next week. He has an appointment. He did go to work today. But I said, you know what? I better, I better put something in my tummy, you know, cause I, I automatically thought it was, the, it was the pill. So he made some chorizo and egg burritos. Um, by the way, I only had one. I didn't have two because my husband filled them up pretty good. So I only had one. So anyways, it didn't work. It didn't work. I took a shower. Didn't work. I did make the snickerdoodles. I was pushing myself to do that. And um, finally, finally, finally around, I don't know, 3.30, 4 o'clock. 3.30 maybe, um, I said, you know what, I'm done. I can't do this. I, I just don't feel well. Um, it's, I, I knew it wasn't nothing bad. I think I knew it was the pill. I felt like it was still in my system and I just was pushing. So um, what I had was meatballs, the meatball soup. I finished that off. I didn't wait for dinner. Um, and then I just came upstairs, took another shower and lay down. Um, actually edited a little bit and lay down. And then finally around 7.30, I started feeling myself again. Okay, my friends, I just want to let you know what ha let you guys know what happened yesterday. This is one of the sugars that I use, the RX sugar. It's keto certified, zero glycemic, zero net carbs, vegan, and gluten-free. And then the syrup I get is, um, or the one I just recently found, is the Jordan Skinny Syrup, keto syrup with MCT oil. And this is the vanilla bean flavor. This was $4.99 at Marshall's. And um, sweetened with monk fruit and erythritol and stevia, which is really, really good. Here is two keto pizza recipes that I just, I just wanted these for the uh, crust. The last time I made it was so good, so tasty, but it was so difficult to work with. So I have these two. I think I'm going to try this one. It has mozzarella cheese, cream cheese. I have coconut flour that I'll be using instead of the almond. I typically use almond, but I wanna see how it tastes with coconut and then eggs and then salt. This one here is the, I haven't put them in the oven yet. This one here is the coconut one, flour one. It's a lot harder. It's a lot thicker because I couldn't push it out. This one over here, is with almond flour uh, what you see the green things you see is chives and i did sift the almond flour which helps and i also put uh xanthan gum which is emulsifier an emulsifier in powder form i put that in there and i did add a little bit of water to help me and wow the dough was so pliable this is the almond flour crust spinach artichoke hearts onions cheese and pepperoni that's it and my family's eating the other one already they said it's good the coconut one is really really good everything turned out perfect hey guys so today's friday march 19th and uh, i just did get ready with me um but um uh, having a little bit of a a moment right now because um my mom's mom is um, in a nursing home. She's 98 and I miss her and I haven't been able to go see her or I haven't been wanting to go see her. 
reason being is because she doesn't know about her daughter, my mom, and which they have valid reasons not to tell her right now. And I respect that decision. I understand it completely. At first, she was content with her thinking my mom is with my brother in Utah. And I didn't want to disrupt that sort of oh, contentment for the explanation they're giving her why she hasn't, why my mom doesn't go visit. Because my mom would go every week, pretty much. And I just didn't want to go and then just sort of disrupt that calmness in her. But my aunt texted me today. Now, this is my mom's younger sister. She was telling me now that my my grandma is starting to not is starting to be upset with my mom because my mom's not calling you know at least my mom could call is what she's saying which is totally understandable i just feel so bad for my grandma i asked my aunt what does she think about me going to see her and my aunt says i think it's good now that i go now uh, because um because anyways, my, my grandma is just not comfortable anymore with their explanations in terms of why my mom doesn't call. So um, my aunt says, I think it's good that you go see her. So I am going to be planning a trip very soon. It is 8.22. 8.22. I'm going to work out. Now, let me tell you guys what i've been doing for the past hour pretty much hour and a half okay since around seven o'clock i've been convincing myself not to work out i had planned to work out today finally i said you know what get up by the time all this trying to convince yourself not to work out you could have been done showered and in your bed <laughs> watching a nice movie <laughs> so yeah my fault i could have had this done so I'm going to go ahead and work out. And uh, right now I have 46 minutes. So it's going to be a three mile walk. I'm only at, and I say only because typically by now I would have had maybe 5,000, 5,000, you know, 5, 6,000 steps, but I'm only at 3,500 steps. So that's it. So yeah, let me get at least a 6,000 today. My hair's a little wet. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's stringy, stringy because it's wet. I don't know if you can see that. There you can. <laughs> oh, felt good, guys. I did uh, 10,000 steps, 10,051 steps. That's what I did today. Okay, it is uh, Saturday, March 20th, and um, it is 7.10 p.m., and I'm here to do my four-mile workout. Yes, I've not done four miles. Uh, and I do think I'm going to be using the band with this particular DVD. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to push myself today. I have on a pair of shoes uh, that these are Reeboks. But I bought these, I believe, when I was doing the year's time journey between 2016, 2017. I bought these because I heard that these type of shoes were really, really good for aerobic workout. That it supports your ankle. The thing with these, though, is that the tongue of the shoe, of the tenny, the tongue, and the heel, it's all kind of one unit. It just basically has a very nice stretch. And those could be very, very problematic for me. If I gain too much weight, I will not be able to put my foot in. So that's what happened. I used them for a good several months. And um, when I weighed 185, like around there, 187, around there, uh, and then, uh, when I went back up to 200 pounds plus, uh, yeah, forget about using them. I couldn't use them. So I have them on. These are my shoes. These are Reebok and, um, they do come up over the, the ankle. Did it four miles. I did it. Let me see if I can stand still for a second. I did it. Oh, do you see that sweat? And look at this is wet from the sweat. Okay, on this one, I did do the band. You can see it right there, and I have my gloves on. So she intermittently, intermittently, I think that's how you say it, uh, did the bands during the miles. But she did squats. She did lunges, bicep, triceps, back muscles, pectoral muscles. 
Anyways, we did it all. Good morning. It is Sunday. It is 1130 to Sunday. It is March 21st, 2021. And I say it like that because today's my son's birthday. He is 13. He's my last. And so I feel like officially I have no more young kids. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 13. Teens and all the way up to adults. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I want to get a morning workout so that the day doesn't get away from me, but I'm going to share with you what I'm going to do. Uh, this is the first time in a while that I've done this particular DVD. It's called the Leslie Sanson Just Walk uh, the Tone Every Zone Walk. <laughs> well, that was a, that was long. Okay, so with this particular one, um, I have two sets of weights. I have my five pound weights, okay? So I have two of these. And then I have uh, three pound weights like this. Uh, I'm not sure if I could do five today. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna have the three pounders nearby so that if I need to switch it out, I will. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This will have one, one mile. It's gonna be all about arms and a little cardio and a little arms. And then the second mile is gonna be cardio with a little bit of leg work. And then the final one is just a nice brisk walk. So it's three miles. Okay guys, let's get going because I got a busy day. I'm done, I'm done. My heart rate's about 125 beats per minute, so I'm trying to cut it down. Uh, this this exercise is three mile, was about 46 minutes, but I ran in place for 10, or ran around my room for 10. I just to do, I wanted to do a complete hour, because if I do an hour active minutes, then this will clock me, and I'll get credit for it. <laughs> well, I get credit for all the things that I do, but I get a little reward. <laughs> Could use a little reward anyways okay guys i'm gonna take a shower because we have to go to miniature golf all right guys i'm gonna end my weekly vlog but i'm gonna show you my son's birthday is today like i mentioned earlier and he's having cake and i'm having this duncan keto cake yep and then for ice cream halo top That's all I'm having. I'm done. I had pizza earlier. Papa John's. It was bussin'. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. So I'm gonna end it here. Spend, you know, have some cake. And uh, see you soon. Bye! Bye.